For this video, we're going to talk about how to write an annotated bibliography and think about the guidelines and some considerations for this kind of assignment. So an annotated bibliography describes, gives publication information for, and sometimes evaluates each work on a list of sources. There are two kinds of annotations, descriptive and evaluative. A descriptive annotation just summarizes the content of a work, um, but an evaluative bibliography um, describes a, and offers opinions on the source. And this is the type of annotated bibliography that we'll be working on for our assignment. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about a bibliography. Here are some key features of an annotated bibliography. First of all, it should include a statement of scope. Um, this is a brief introduction that explains what you're covering, explains your topic, it gives a context for the bibliography, and announces the purpose for compiling the annotations. Another key feature is that it should contain complete bibliographic information. So you need to provide all the information about each source using one documentation style and for our purposes we'll be using MLA style. This way your readers or other researchers will be able to find the source easily or you might be able to find the source easily when you're uh, working on your research paper later on. Another key feature is to have a concise description of the work. A good annotation describes each item as carefully and objectively as possible, giving accurate information and showing that you understand the source. Um, however, it should be brief. You don't want to go into a ton of detail, but you want to write enough that you make sure to give the reader a clear idea of what the source is about. It should be relevant commentary. Um, when you're writing an evaluative bibliography, your comments should be relevant to your purpose and your audience. Think about um, what are the main points of the source, what is its argument, how current and reliable is it, and will the source be helpful for your project. You should have consistent presentation. All annotations should follow a consistent pattern. So now let's talk about how to get started with this, assi this assignment. So first of all, you need to decide what sources to include. Make sure that you consider the appropriateness of the source. Is the source relevant to your topic? Is it aimed at an appropriate audience? Um, the next thing to consider is the credibility. Is the author reputable? Is the publication or publishing company or sponsor of the source reputable? And do the ideas more or less agree with other sources that you've read about a similar topic? Also think about balance. Does the source present enough evidence for its assertions? Does it show any particular bias? Does it present counter arguments fairly? Timeliness. Is the source recent enough? Does it reflect current thinking or research about the subject? Generally for your research paper, you shouldn't use sources that are older than five years old. If you have a source that's five years old, you should only include it if you cannot find that information anywhere else and it is essential to your argument. All right, now you're actually going to sit down and write your annotated bibliography. So here are some things to consider before, uh, as you're preparing to write. First of all, compile your list of sources. Um, give the sources themselves in whatever documentation style is required. Again, for our assignment, that's MLA. Read um, the sources carefully. To write an annotation, you have to understand the source's argument. Um, so you must make sure that you understand the argument carefully. Um, however, you don't necessarily have time to read the whole text for an annotated bibliography. That might come later as you're doing um, completing the research paper. Um, so you might read the preface or abstract, the introduction of an article. You might skim the contents or the headings or read parts that relate specifically to your topic. Now, if the entire article relates to your topic, then you might have to read the whole article. Research the writer if necessary. If you determine that 
you're not sure about the credibility of the source based on other factors, then you might have to do a little Googling um, of the, the author, the writer's name, um, just to see if um, this author is reputable. Summarize the work um, in a sentence or two. Try to describe it as objectively if, as possible, even though we're writing an evaluative uh, annotation. You can evaluate the central point of a work better by stating it clearly first. Establish criteria for evaluating sources. You'll need to evaluate them in terms of their usefulness for your project and their overall credibility. Be consistent in your content, in your sentence structure, and in your format. Try to provide about the same amount of information for each entry. Make sure that you evaluate all entries and not just some. Use consistent sentence structure and grammar and use the same documentation style throughout. For the organization of your annotated bibliography, you should include an introduction. List the sources alphabetically and use MLA style citation. Start with your introduction then you will follow that by the first uh, entry uh, listed alphabetically, and then that entry should be followed by its annotation directly. Then you would list the second alphabetic entry and annotate it. List the third alphabetical entry and annotate it, and then continue in the same way until you have 10 total entries and list that final alphabetical entry and annotate it. Uh, please look at the student examples uh, to see how this organization looks. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, good luck writing your annotated bibliography.